Hey Leo, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. Here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And Leo, happy birthday to you. This is your general reading for August of 2019. So this is gonna be for sun, for moon and for rising signs, all right? So if this doesn't fit your sun sign, Leo, um, do check out your moon and your rising. Now, Leo, this is a really special month for you because already um, we're starting off on July the 31st with a beautiful new moon in your sign. And that new moon is is just so much about self-expression, right? On the 31st, self-expression, expressing yourself um, about your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. But it's also going to be self-expression from the other side, right? It could be, you know, loved ones, people you're working with, um, friends, family. So people are going to be expressing themselves as well. But the beautiful thing about this new moon is right it's coming at the third moon in july and it's coming at the very heels of you would think this was a love reading um this is coming at the very heels right of the um the two already solar events um that we had earlier solar slash lunar in the month um so with the new moon solar eclipse at the beginning of july and then the full moon partial lunar eclipse on July 16th. So we're in this cycle of manifestation. So if anyone, you know, if you, if you really took advantage of that energy, right? And even if you didn't knowingly take advantage of that energy, trust me, the seeds you planted earlier this month, now your sun, your sun, right? Because you're ruled by the sun is truly shining down on that, those seeds that you planted. So there's enough time to dig them up. Okay. Um, and put some new ones down, but just be aware of that. All right. So we're starting off what's coming towards you. Like I said, this really could have been a love reading. This really could have been a love reading. We're going to be using the fountain deck today. Um, the ace of cups. So, um, could be some new love coming in. Could be some satisfaction in career friendships mended. Um, so I just see some new, um, ways that you're going to be feeling sad, very satisfied, but I'm really feeling with that page of cups. If you're single, new love. If you are, you know, you know, a new person coming around, if you are, um, in a relationship, renewed commitment. All right. I'm really seeing that and feeling that, um, we have the Empress here as well. We'll lift that up. This is the energy you're bringing. You are really bringing this, you know, I'm bad and I know what kind of thing, right? You are really bringing this energy of uh, like, you know, good things are right here, right? And you should, oh, the lover, I swear this should have been, I'm going to probably say this is both your love reading and your general reading. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do a bonus because honestly, there's, it's just, there's love everywhere. There's, um, you know, partnerships everywhere with the lover's card. So if that's something you've been focusing on, Leo, on manifesting a relationship, well, it looks like it's coming at you. Now, I will say this. I really do certainly hope and pray that it's a good solid right i hope that you're not you're not trying to manifest a um a toxic relationship because whether it's toxic or it's good it's coming at you yep this is definitely you with the sun here so you're going to see very bright days as and you're going to look at it as if there's bright days coming but for some of you i'm just telling you not always everything that we want, not everything that glitters is gold. So can we just be a little careful? Okay, Leo, just a little bit careful. Make sure that this is not a toxic relationship that you've been trying to manifest for forever. And then now all of a sudden you didn't brought it to you because honestly, the law of attraction works in any way, shape, form or fashion. What you desire will indeed come to you. 
Um, something to watch out for. That, and see, that's I didn't even really see this card here. We have the magician in the in the something to watch out for spot, and that's followed up by the queen of coins. Now this could of course be an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be Virgo itself. Um, I with also with the way the lunar cycle is going, this new moon cycle with Venus also being in Leo. It's conjunct with the moon and with the sun. Uh, listen, be careful about your money. Try not to spend too much. What could be an issue is that there's such manifestation energy and there's such, oh, this is finally, I'm finally giving birth to a thing, um, either a relationship or something else that you're going to get a little cocky and uh, you could not really be paying attention to enough of the details and see where things could be going left okay so be careful with this um what's going to help you overcome that so don't spend too much money don't spend money on don't don't invest a lot of money on somebody else right away put some the eight of coins says put some hard work into it the hanged man says, hold back a little bit. You know, before you go buying an engagement ring or before you go signing that deed on that house or before you go signing the contract for you and this person to work together, um, hold up, wait a minute, right? You know, just pause, push pause because you're going to see what's going to come of that. Once you push pause and don't just charge forward, you're going to have that page of coins energy where now you'll have a new way to view it, look at it, you'll see it in a new light and then be able to really gain um, abundance from the situation, okay? So this could also be um, career. This could also, you know, be any type of investment with money, not just love, just in general, okay? Um, however, at the end of it all, the um, outcome or advice is the higher font. So this is commitment. This is keep the faith. This is marriage. This is all these things. Oop, and ten of cups and wish fulfillment at the end of it. So you got to keep the faith through the whole thing. But again, if you are, listen, just be sure that you don't get duped. Just be sure that you don't get tied up into something that really at the end of the day you will regret later okay um take a step back be be sure because it could be too good to be true um use with the high priestess use your intuition please do follow your intuition with the six of swords be ready you know some of you could be traveling this month but be ready to leave behind the drama Oh boy. Leo, be ready to leave behind that damn drama. I'm tired now. Here we go in the Queen of Wands. You know, that that's just, that's you and all your glory. Okay. Um, and But I do see plenty of new starts, really good communication. And, and really you live in your best life and being your, your best self with the strength card. So this overall, I feel like is a really good, reading if you're looking for if you've been wanting to manifest love it's here new partnerships as far as work or entrepreneurial partnerships as well i'm wanting to pull a um oracle card oh i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull for my new moonology cards the moonology oracle deck Okay, so let's see what the Moonology Oracle deck has for us. Can I get three cards here for Leo, please? Three cards for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, just, um, you know, it. I think at the end of the day, it's all going to turn out well. But, yep, yeah, see? Um, but you really are going to need to be sure that you are uh, checking the list and, and, you know, getting the list and checking it twice, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here we go. One more, please. Sun, moon, and rising, please, for Leo. 
sun, moon, and rising. Then I'm going to uh, give you the in, the interpretations or the information about these cards. Okay, there we go. All right. So what we have first. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius, okay? These are all phases of the moon, and then it gives us some information about it, okay, as far as what that means. Full moon in Sagittarius, look at the big picture. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over the my, or over minutia can be counterproductive, or perhaps you're being all talk and no action, Leo. Or perhaps you're, uh, this card reminds is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. So, see, you know, we can want something so bad, and here it comes, right? And we've been wanting it this bad, and we're just not really looking at the overall, how this is really going to affect us in different areas of our life. That can be relationships, romantic, or otherwise. All right? Um, what do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't yet have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. Okay. Now, the next card that came out is Emotions Are Running High. That's for the super moon. Emotions are running high. This card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is written large, like the silvery full moon set against the velvety, net, velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or relationship, the answer is very. So listen. So there's a lot of good things coming towards you, right? Um, this card is about being larger than life, being special, bursting with energy that you can tune to, into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes up. But you may find there's a lot of emotion, emotion, emotions to deal with as well. So listen, overall, I, again, Good, good, good. I think this is good, good, good. I just have this, like, sense that there's some people that have been trying to bring this toxicity into their life. It could be that this person then will change once they're with you, but you're going to have to put in some work so that you can achieve that Ten of Cups, okay? So, um, and then last but not least, show the world the real you. Be expressive. Full moon in Aquarius. Love, love, love. Because this is really what you need to be doing. There. This card brings the message from the, co from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about, right? Take that step back. Look at the big picture because your emotions are running high. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's, it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. You've been holding yourself back from, the, from showing the world the real you. This card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. Okay, so be the special person that you are. All right. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. Um, thank you so very much for joining me on this journey here through August, <laughs> this journey of a reading, for goodness sakes. Hey, don't forget, I've got a Patreon page uh, up and running now. Um, go to patreon.com, Heart of Inspiration. That's where you can find me. Um, subscribe there. You're going to get two, uh, some additional live teachings during the month, discounts on everything on heartofinspiration.net, much, much more. You'll be able to have a chance to work with me on a monthly basis. So go to patreon.com. Um, and look up Heart of Inspiration and find me there, okay, on Patreon. And then don't forget, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And when you subscribe, hit that little button, right? Um, hit that bell 
and turn your notifications on on your phone. That way you'll know each time that I go live. I really enjoyed this, guys. Happy birthday again, Leo. Um, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you on any number of the times that I'm on, okay? Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.